Hello, this is Den Yoder, instructor for BSE 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Uh, in this lab, we're going to look at points, we're going to look at labeling our points, and we're going to look at automatically labeling with description keys. Uh, start off with, I'm going to put a few points in my drawing. You can already see I have a little road intersection drawn. Uh, that'll be for later. But I'm going to add a few points. If I go to the points pull down, create points, I get my points toolbar. The very first button is to manually add points. I'm going to pick a spot. This will be a GR shot for ground shot. Um, what elevation do I want? I'll just put 101.5. Uh, this is where else do you want a point? I'm going to pick a spot. This is what description you want. I'm going to do a BM for benchmark. And it'll be 100. I'm going to pick a third spot. And I'll put whatever there. And it can be 101. Now, I got X's with my points. Depending what your template looks like, you won't even get X's. Uh, one of the things you can do is set up what you uh, we can set up labels for these. Escape out of this. Select the points. I grab too much. Shift. I can let go of that. Control one gives me the properties window. If I had grabbed too much, I wouldn't see my properties. But I could actually pull down and just grab Togo points to see my properties. In the top information section is a point label style. If I change it from default to point elevation description, I'll get all my labels, my point numbers, which are automatically generated, my point elevations that I typed in, and the descriptions that I typed in. Okay. Um, Properties window lets me change the label style. Scale will change the size of the text. If I drop down to a 20 scale, the text will get smaller. Go back up to a 40, it gets bigger. If I want to go to a 5 scale, there's none there. But I can go to custom and make my own. To make my own scale, I just add a scale. And I'm going to say... I like to make it match pretty much, so I'm going to say one inch equals five feet. One inch space equals space five foot tick. My paper units of one are going to be a drawing units of five. Okay. And I need to move that down so that it is the right place in the menu. Okay. Now I have a custom five scale, which is really small. We'll use that in class soon, so not immediately, but you'll, we'll use it soon. Okay, another thing, description keys. Okay, uh, points, if I go into my settings for points, I have a thing called description keys and this drawing, which is uh, my template drawing, has three description keys preset. That's not nearly enough. Really, uh, for work, we would want to have all the description keys that we use for a job in our template drawing, and then it would be automatic. Okay, well, we need to create some new ones. Um, if I right-click on Civil 3D description keys, I can edit my keys. The key editor gives you a spreadsheet, and it looks like I should be able to right-click and make one, but it doesn't really work. If I go up to where Tree is and right-click, then I get a new key option. And I have a new one, which I haven't named yet. Um, I'm going to put a new one in called Benchmark. But before I really do it, I'm going to I for insert and browse to my benchmark drawing that I drew 
back in my block lab. So I drew my own benchmark and I'm going to put it on screen uh, and I'm not going to scale it. Well, if I wanted to, I would be scaling it 20 because I'm in a 20 scale drawing. We can just test it to see if it works right. Put it in the drawing. There's a benchmark. Okay, erase that. Uh, another one I want to insert is a tree. I like my tree. I drew my own tree. QRS uh, tree. Okay, I'll do 20 scale again. Okay, that was my tree symbol. Erase that. Um, all the symbols that I want to add to description keys need to be inserted into my drawing at least one time. By inserting them into my drawing, my drawing now knows what a benchmark is and what a tree is. Okay, so when I look at my description keys, I don't have one for ground shots. So I'm going to make one. I'm going to put in GR. I'm not going to put a star on it. The others that are up there by example have a star on them, which means they're expecting more text after the first letters. So for example, when you survey a tree, you usually say what size and species it is. Or when you insert a station mark or a stormwater manhole, you would say what the manhole number is. But in this case, a ground shot it means I just picked a spot on the ground. I'm only really concerned about the elevation. That's it. There's no, it's not a known point of something. It's just a spot on the ground. Now it says, how do you want to show the style of a ground shot? Well, I can look at the list and say, hey, what styles are predefined in here? Uh, nothing catches my eye. Okay, I'm just going to go with default. Um, but I can make a new style. That'd be better. Let's make a new one. And this new one's information is going to be a ground shot. Um, and the marker, instead of the X, I'm going to change it to a plus. That's going to make it look different. And it wants to know if I want a symbol on it. I'm not going to put one. Um, but I am going to make it my plus side bigger. Instead of a tenth inch, I'm going to say 0.25. And then in the display tab, yeah, that's good. Marker display okay that'll work okay ground shot uh, now point label style point label style it says what text do you want to see? I'm going to say only give me the elevation because the description is going to be GR. I'm going to know that because I see the big plus. And the point number doesn't matter because it's just a piece of ground. I want to see the elevation. And layer. Let's change the layer too. I'm going to make a new layer. They typically name these layers V node. Well, v node ground. Check that. Okay, don't check that. V node ground. 
Okay, let's make another new one. So I right click on the GR, I can make a new one. Look at that one, I'm going to change it to BM star, so benchmark, whatever I want to call it. Try again. Edit. BM star. The style. Do I have a benchmark? I do have a benchmark. But I'm going to edit the benchmark. And it's going to insert a block. Benchmark. And the scale is use drawing scale. And instead of times 0.1, I'm going to say 1. Um, so benchmark, scale of 1, OK. Benchmark. I also want to change the layer for benchmarks. I'm going to make a new one. Layer name. V node benchmarks. So if I have multiple benchmarks, they'll have them. Okay. V node benchmark. I've got ground, I've got benchmark. Tree, if it's got their tree, I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is go to their style and edit their style and make sure the block is my tree. And they're on tree six, which is this pine tree. I don't like that. And they have an absolute size of 20. I want my tree and it's gonna be based on the drawing scale one times the drawing scale. Okay, tree, I get my tree. Okay, and they're already putting it on the tree layer, so I'm happy with that. Okay, what does all this stuff mean? I'm going to insert some new points. I'm going to insert manual. I'm going to pick a spot. This is going to be a GR shot. And its elevation is going to be 102. And instead of the red X... I got a white plus that's bigger. It didn't put a point number and a description on it because looking at the plus, I know it's a ground shot. And a ground shot, I really don't care about the number. So the description key automatically labeled it the way I want. Let's do another one. I'm going to pick a spot. I'm going to say it's a TR. 8 inch oak and the elevation on that is going to be a 103 so my symbol for my tree got inserted and it's labeled as an 8 inch oak okay um, pick a spot BM number 2 Actually, that's kind of funny. BM number four, I'll skip to. Okay, and it is 105. Enter. And it looks like I didn't check what the text setup was for a benchmark. So I probably need to go back and edit that. But you're getting the idea. I can have symbols come in automatically on my points based on my description keys. Okay, one other um, type of point I'm going to look at is if I have drawn something, even if it's as simple as a couple lines, close, um, I can insert points, um, create points, 
there's uh is it on the main one <coughs> import slope oh there it is on the first pull down where I had manual there's an automatic automatic <laughs> grab my lines enter it says point description corner point elevation or dot for none I'll just leave it dot corner dot corner dot corner dot and what it did was it will put four points in uh, control one see my points show me the point elevation description I never put an elevation on them but I have point numbers and descriptions for my building corners so automatic automatic will let me grab geometry that's drawn and point description I'm just going to put X point elevation none I'm just going to hit a bunch of enters until I get through this okay so what it labeled were all the vertices of the objects. Now there's actually a little curve right here between these two points going over a little curve. And the radius points of my arcs are also labeled. And so if you're designing something, you can put points on them and then use them in the stakeout process with survey. All right. That's it for the intro to point labeling and description keys.